Making headlines this morning, a new report shows the capital city saw arson cases increase by 66% last year. And officials say that the increase is due to people breaking into vacant homes and juveniles setting cars on fire. Our Carson Gordy took a closer look at the report and has more on how city leaders are moving forward. 2022, I went back and looked at juveniles charged in court with arson and there were not any, but in 2023, there were 10. So that is a significant increase. That was Sangamon County State's Attorney John Milheiser talking about the number of arsons involving minors. Uh, juveniles going inside, going inside a, a mobile home uh, with fireworks started a fire uh, that was charged as arson. Uh, some other ones were cars that were set on fire by these juveniles. Milheiser says it's vital to hold arsonists criminally accountable. Not only the danger for an individual that might be in that home or near that car, uh, but for the police department responding to the scene. In 2023, arson cases spiked by 66% in Springfield. Springfield Fire Marshal Todd Taylor says that fires in vacant homes also doubled last year. He goes on to say that squatters use vacant homes to cook, stay warm, or commit illegal activity. You know, we're sending 20, 25 guys out there and run into a burning building that has no monetary value. So we're risking a lot to save very little. By March, Springfield Public Works says they'll start demolishing 34 vacant homes in the north side of Springfield. An irritant to uh, not only the city, but to the fire department and certainly to the people who live nearby them. But while there is an increase in arson investigations, officials say prosecuting individuals for arson can be difficult. The Springfield Fire Department tells me only 16 people were arrested in 2023. And oftentimes there won't be a suspect even forwarded to us or an investigation for somebody to charge. Uh, they're difficult cases to prove. Thank you, Carson. Officials hope once demolition projects get underway, arson numbers in Springfield will decrease. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.